Robert Galarowitz from Healthy Kidney Inc., naturopath and nutritionist, and today I'm here to talk about low to very low protein diets for kidney disease. Now there's a lot of different diets for kidney disease, and one of them that's been used for decades in a lot of other countries to help manage kidney disease is low to very low protein diets. And that's when you're having really small amounts of protein, anywhere from 20 to upwards of 35 to 40 grams per day of protein. And it hasn't been a very popular diet in the US, but it's starting to gain a lot of ground as there's over 600 studies published in the National Library of Medicine. And supposedly this year, a lot of the major organizations, a lot of the major kidney organizations will begin recommending this diet. Now, it's, the reason that it's not a very popular diet, it's because it's not easy to follow. Okay, it, it's hard to avoid protein and to really minimize it in your diet. And second, which is the other major issue, is that if you do go low to very low protein diet, you end up protein deficient, which puts you at a much higher rate of death if you have kidney disease, so you die sooner and you have a lot more complications. And this has always been the issue with low to very low protein diets. And the way they've combated this issue with other countries who've been using this in their medical systems for over 30 years, and it's a lot of countries, uh, parts of China, Mexico, Hungary, all over the world, is that you take either essential amino acids or uh, keto analogs of essential amino acids, not to be confused with the keto diet that's very popular now. Now, amino acids are broken down protein, and there's 20 of them. And so you need to get at least the nine essential amino acids from your diet and your body can make the rest. So when you're eating a low to very low protein diet, you're missing out on these amino acids. So by getting essential amino acids in a certain ratio and a certain amount, it gives you the protein you need in already broken down form, which much less metabolic waste. And so we do have these type of amino acids on our website at healthykidneyinc.com. And the other option is what's preferred is called keto analogs of essential amino acids. So they're like precursors to amino acids and they even have less metabolic waste, less nitrogen than using essential amino acids. The downfall is it's very expensive because it's fairly new technology in the US, even though it's been in other countries, it's still new here in the United States and they've only been available from two companies right now. And we're actually working with one of the company right now to offer this because it's just such a good product and it really can show benefit. So if you wanna try a low to very low protein diet, you need to either use the essential amino acids or keto analogs of essential amino acids. And you always wanna do before and after blood work so you can see the results. So a lot of people don't like this diet because it restricts a lot of foods. And that is one of the problems and it's not always an easy diet to follow. However, it's shown to be one of the most therapeutic when done properly, meaning seeing improvements in your kidney health, um, improvements in your albumin or your low protein status, which is often a problem with kidney disease where you're leaking a lot of protein. You have a lot of protein excretion in the urine. And you can look around, read more about this. We got a lot of information on our website about it. That's at healthykidneyinc.com. But that's one diet, one therapeutic diet approach to use for kidney disease. There's a lot of other diets out there. But if you're looking at low to very low protein diets, you'd like to get some resources to get a couple books, read more articles about it, and either get the essential amino acids or those keto analogs. Because without those, you'll become protein deficient, which causes a whole host of other issues. And it's actually worse, all right, than, uh, than doing uh, the low to low protein diet without it or doing even a, a diet with more protein. It'll be worse than that because you're at a high risk of death. So that's just some information about low to very low protein diets, very therapeutic, but not the easiest diet to follow. And you can look at our website for more articles about this. Well, we're coming out with some more videos at healthykidneyinc.com. And if you do it, you want to get those amino acids and keto analogs. And I can tell you from my personal experience of using a lot of different diets, this has been the best one that has increased my GFR the most. However, I'm not 100%. Okay, I'm a human being. Uh, I go out family gatherings, things of that nature, and I do the best that I can with them when I'm there. And you know, no one's ever 100% generally, but if you do the best you can with whatever kidney diet you're following, it's gonna give you a lot of improvements and a lot of benefits down the road. So thanks for watching everybody, healthykidneyinc.com, bye.